Welcome to Endgame Finance. Today we're talking about Rivian's short squeeze. That's why right. shares of Rivian have rallied almost 40% in the last five trading days. That's pretty insane. And there's an article on Seeking Alpha that pretty much called this out, this specific thing. Here we see Rivian, now a short squeeze candidate. Short interest ratio has soared lately. About 17% of the company float is shorted. This is pretty massive for a company that's, uh, that's over $10 billion. Now, being short means you are borrowing shares and from somebody else and you're selling those shares in hopes of buying them back later at a lower price and just keeping the difference for yourself. However, if there's so many people shorting and the stock price just keeps going up and up, uh, then we get a short squeeze. Now these guys are these guys that are shorting the stock are required to pay back those shares. They're not required to pay them back at that price, but they have to buy these shares and return them. These guys are racing to buy shares back before the price goes up even more. And this is what constitutes a short squeeze, where basically everyone's trying to buy back these shares to pay them back to return them at a lower price because the price just keeps increasing. And this cycle feeds upon itself, causes the price of stock to just keep rising and rising. As we see, they're up almost 40% in five days, and this might not even stop here. All EVs are heavily shorted. That basically means they're all probably getting squeezed pretty hard right now. Rivian, Lucid, Fisker, even Lordson Motors that just went bankrupt. Now that was a good short. Now, if you were short, short on Lordstown Motors, you made bank, you cashed in. However, this might not be case for these other companies, especially Rivian. If you're shorting Rivian right now, you're losing a ton of money and you might just keep on losing that money. Really interesting about sh Rivian shorts is they're up by 83% year to date. This is pretty crazy. This basically means in the last six months, last six months, share shorted have increased by 80%. This is tremendous. This is huge momentum in shorting. If there's any catalyst, just like uh, if there's any catalyst, if Rivian reports better than expected quarter, if they report better than expected earnings, if they have any other breakthroughs, now this will continue to fuel, shares will just keep on rising. The announcement that they will be using the Tesla charging network was potential, which which what started this short squeeze. And that was not even a monumental or huge news. Now imagine if something else happens. Imagine if their uh, pr profitability is expected to come in sooner. If their production ramp actually increases even more. If they uh, deliver more than 50,000 units this year. Now this company could go up 100% easily just from this short squeeze. Also just think if there's an, another investor, another big whale that comes into this stock, if for example Warren Buffett or even if Apple announces some sort of partnership and buys some shares, this company will explode in price. This can go to $30 easily overnight. Arthur argues correctly here. There are risks with Rivian but the balance sheet is not one of them. Rivian has a very strong balance sheet with approximately $11.2 billion at the end of March 2023. These guys have enough money to stay afloat for years to run production and they announced they will probably enter profitability in about a year. So these guys have plenty of cash, these guys uh, are racing towards profitability, these guys are pushing out units. And people really love their products. People really love their vehicles. So funding this EV ramp that's going to bring them into profitability is not a problem for Rivian. So there's absolutely no chance of these guys going bankrupt or at least not a significant one. So being short was a very risky bet here. It's really burning up a lot of people today and in the last five days. However, the bears might actually just double down if there's enough cash to just keep shorting this, this stock. The share price might reverse course and go down. However, so far the momentum has been extremely bullish and we can potentially see a continuing huge rally in Rivian as well as other EV stock, especially because Tesla just announced record deliveries. It indicates there's a huge demand, there's a huge growing demand for electric vehicles. Now, Tesla delivered close to half a million vehicles in one quarter and Tesla is not even in all the countries globally, Tesla is just entering certain markets. So we see there's a huge demand for electric vehicles and this huge demand is spilling over onto Rivian and everyone else. 
because people will just continue to buy electric people will make the switch because it's much cheaper to own it's a superior product and it is the future so that's it guys just a quick update on rivian shorts rivian shorts are getting squeezed pretty hard these last five days and we might continue to see this thanks for watching guys and have a great day